Welcome back to Grace's Room. I'm sure a lot of you guys know by now that I love doing hairstyles on my American Girl dolls and also my Barbie dolls. And a lot of you guys commented that you loved the way I did Annabelle's two bun hairstyles on her in my latest Grace's World videos. So I've been lately testing out different bun hairstyles on my American Girl dolls. And today I'm going to be showing you four different bun hairstyles that you can do on any of your dolls. So here I have four of my test subjects. I've got Sienna, Mary Ellen, Tenny, and Nanea. And over here I also have some hair supplies, including some bobby pins, a spray bottle, some clear elastics, and a wire wig hairbrush for my dolls. And I've also got some hair accessories to decorate some of the hairstyles. So let's get started. So here we have Tenny, and I'm going to be doing the double bun hairstyle on her hair today. And this hairstyle probably works best with like longer hair because the bun stays in a bit better and it's just a bit easier. It can be curly or straight, doesn't really matter. But let's get started. So firstly, I'm just going to be taking my hairbrush and my spray bottle. And I'm just going to be misting her hair lightly and it's just going to help get rid of any tangles in her hair. And now I'm going to brush it. I brushed her hair a little bit before, so it's not too knotty. Alright, I think that's pretty good. Now what I'm going to be doing is just parting her hair just through the middle or from her part line, the side part here. And what I'm going to be doing is just parting it here. And now I'm just going to take this section of hair. I'm just going to get a little clip here. I have my little butterfly, butterfly clip and I'm just going to clip it here. And this is just so it won't interfere with this side, with this bun. Anyway, so now what I'm going to be doing is just I'm going to brush it a little bit again because it feels like it's gotten a little bit more tangly. <laughs> And now I'm going to be doing a little peak, a high little ponytail here. And I'm going to be leaving out a little bit of hair as well, just to make it look like it's a bit more rough, like just a little rough hairstyle. I'm just going to get my hairbrush. Oh. And now I'm just going to tidy it up. And now I'm going to take one of my clear elastics here and I'm just going to tie it off. There we go. Now I'm just going to brush the ponytail a little bit because it's a bit knotty now. And now what I'm going to be doing is just twisting the hair. And now I'm going to be wrapping it around itself like this. And I'm trying to be going to be like creating a bit of like a messy sort of bun. I don't want it to look like too loopy, if that makes sense. I don't really like the way that looks. It takes a little bit of time actually when you try to get it, try to get the bun right. It might take a couple of takes to try and get it right. Okay, I like that. And now with my bobby pins, I'm just going to secure it. I'm going to put one here. Mm -hmm. I can't get it through. There we go. And you, know, you can put more bobby pins in her hair if it's not secure enough. Like I'm going to put more. And then if you want to, this is optional, you can also put like bows or other little hair accessories in her hair if you want, just to make it a bit fancier. But this is, I'm just going to leave it nice and plain. I really like that. I think this hairstyle really suits Tenny and like with like a little casual outfit. And now I'm just going to be doing the other side. So again, I'm just going to be brushing her hair and doing a little high ponytail. I'm going to leave out some hair on the side as well. There we 
you go. I'm just going to tidy it up. And now I'm going to be taking a little clear elastic and tying it off. Trying to also make the buns really even, like so they're in about the same place. There we go. And now I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. I'm going to be twisting her hair and I'm just going to be wrapping it around. Just trying to get the bun right. There we go. And now I'm just going to get my bobby pins and secure it. One more. There we go. And then you might want to curl the little pieces that you've left out, like the little baby hairs. And there you go. Here we have a little double bun hairstyle. I really like this hairstyle. I think it looks really cute and it will suit your American Girl dolls or your Barbie dolls or which other hair, Amer any, any other doll that you have. And I really, uh, and I really like this one. So let's move on to the next one. All right, guys. For my next hairstyle, I've got Mary Ellen here with me, and I'm going to be doing a flower bun on her. Now, I'm pretty sure it's not called a flower bun, but I made up like all these names, like all the hairstyles that I did, because I don't really know what they're really called, and this is just how I refer to them as. Anyway. So firstly, we, I need to just brush her hair again just to get rid of any knots. Her hair's pretty smooth already, so I don't need to do much work. And now what I'm going to be doing is just take, taking the top half of her hair. It's going to be more of like a half up, half down kind of hairstyle. I'm going to take the top half of her hair. And I'm just going to be Getting a hair tie. Well, first I actually need to get my hairbrush and just tidy it up a little bit. There we go. And now I'm just going to be tying it up. There we go, it looks a little bit rough, but it's okay. Now with all this hair underneath, I'm just going to be, again, getting a little butterfly clip. I'm going to clip this to the side just so it doesn't really interfere with this hair. I'm going to brush it a bit and now what I'm going to be doing, this is going to be like a really loose bun so like I'm going to twist it a little bit like what we did with Tenny but I'm going to only going to be twisting it a little bit because I'm trying to like get it to be like a really like wide and very loose kind of bun. So like around like along the way I'm just going to be like getting a bobby pin and I'm going to be securing it. Like that. And now I'm just going to get the, twist the rest of the hair and wrap it around. And now I'm going to bobby pin it. Might take a few bobby pins to get this one right. There we go. And now what I'm going to be doing is I've actually got my little flowers here and I got these from the LA Cafe when I had a chocolate mousse which is very yummy. <laughs> and I just like tied these together so like this isn't really sticking out and it helps stay in her hair a little bit more. And what I'm going to be doing is just at the bottom of her hair, I'm going to be, or underneath the bun, I'm going to be just pushing these flowers through her hair. And I've got four of these. And I'm just going to place them underneath. And you might also need like a bobby pin just to make them stay in as well, which I might do. There we go. Now what I'm going to be doing is just getting some more bobby pins and just 
going to be securing it. And it's also a little bit hard to try and hide bobby pins as well. Like they might stick out a little bit. And last one. There we go. I really like this hairstyle. I think it looks really pretty in like a really nice summer slash spring kind of hairstyle. And you can also curl the bottom of her hair if you want to. But I honestly really like this hairstyle. I think it looks really cute. And I really like it. <laughs> All right, on to the next hairstyle. So I'm going to be demonstrating this next hairstyle on Anaya and I'm going to be doing a double braided bun hairstyle. That's a bit of a mouthful. Anyway, I think that this hairstyle probably works best on longer hair. It can be curly or straight. I mean, you probably can do this hairstyle on shorter or layered hair, but it might just be a bit harder to do the bun bit. But anyway, firstly, I need to brush her hair just to get rid of get again get rid of any knots there we go and you do it <laughs> and you do need to know how to braid to do this hairstyle but I'm going to be showing you again how to braid I actually have made another video where I showed you how to do Dutch braids and you guys can check this out check it out if you want to know how to braid but I will briefly show you how to do it today as well so I am going to be doing a French braid in her hair and firstly what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grabbing a small section of her hair here at the front and there's a bit of a twist to this hairstyle I'm going to be only grabbing hair from her part line here so I'm going to divide it into three sections and what I'm going to be doing is just placing this this strand of hair over the middle piece and then pulling the middle piece under and then I'm going to get this strand of hair here from the right side and I'm going to be putting it over this middle piece and I'm going to get the middle piece and just pull it to the side and then again we're not going to be grabbing any hair from this section so we don't really need to worry about doing that so here I've got this left strand of hair I'm going to pull it over this middle section and now here I have this right strand of hair and then I'm going to be grabbing some hair from her part line I'm going to be joining it with this strand of hair and now I'm going to be pulling it over the middle strand and then I'm going to pull just to make it a bit tighter and then here I have this strand of hair and again I'm just going to put it over the middle piece and then pull the middle piece under and I'm gonna get this strand of hair. Again, grab some hair from the part line. And then I'm going to tighten it and join it with this strand. And then I'm gonna put it over the middle strand and then pull the middle strand under. I'm gonna be repeating that again, again, putting it over the middle strand, pulling the middle strand under. Now I'm gonna get this strand of hair, join some hair from the part line to this strand. I'm going to be putting this strand over the middle section and pulling the middle section to the side. So you're just going to keep on repeating this until you get about nearly to the end of her part line, which is just around here. So again, just going to be repeating this braid, all these steps, until you get to that section. So again, it's just over, pulling the middle piece to the side and then getting this strand of hair, joining it with some of this hair, putting it over the middle piece, and then pulling the middle piece to the side. So now I have finished grabbing sections of hair from the side, and now I'm just gonna be braiding it, braiding down a little bit, or just till I get to the end of her hair. And again, just over, pull the middle piece to the side and then 
grabbing the other section of hair, putting it over the middle piece and then putting, pulling the middle piece to the side. Once you do it a couple of times, you'll probably get the hang of it and then it'll become like much easier and it'll just, your hands will naturally do it. <laughs> Okay, so I've just gotten to the end of her hair and now I'm just going to take a little elastic and I'm just going to tie it. But when I'm tying it up, what I'm going to be doing is... Wait, nearly there. And when I get about nearly to the last, like, loop, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be actually... Ooh, when I twist it, I'm going to like, when I pull the hair through the loop, I'm going to be pulling it halfway so it creates something a bit like this and it's just going to be a bit easier when I'm doing the bun. But I'm going to braid the other side, you're going to repeat the, this step on the other side of her hair and then we're going to be doing the buns together. So again, I'm just going to grab a small section of hair. On this side at the front and then I'm going to divide it into three and then I'm going to be again only be grabbing hair from the part line here and then I'm going to be just getting this side this strand on the side and pulling it over the middle strand and then pulling the middle strand to the side. Sorry if I don't really explain this the best, it's just really hard to try and explain how to braid. And then again I'm going to be grabbing hair from this section and then tightening it and then pulling it over. done the other braid I think it looks really nice and now what I need to do is do the two little buns so firstly I'm going to be grabbing this one this braid first and what I'm going to be doing is it's probably a bit easier to do this one so because you know you don't really have to twist the hair but what I'm going to be doing is just wrapping it around itself creating a little bun and then this hair I'm going to try and like tuck underneath and then I'm just going to grab a bobby pin and secure that. Try and like hide the bobby pins a little bit as well when you do this. I know it's quite hard to do but it just looks a bit better when you try it when it's like looks you can't really see the bobby pins too much, but it might be a bit hard to try and do, so that's okay if you can't. <laughs> and I've also got this cute little, like, I forgot what they're called, but like this little comb here, and I'm just going to be putting this in her hair as well, just to give it a cute little decoration. And I think that looks really nice. I like that. But now what I'm going to be doing is just the exact same on this side. And again, I'm just going to be wrapping it around itself. And then I'm going to grab a bobby pin. And then just secure that. And that's all for this hairstyle. I think this one looks really cute. And it's like just like really nice for like a little special occasion or like a party or something. And 
and it might curl her hair a bit later as well but it's like it looks nice when it's just like naturally wavy at the bottom or even like it might look nice when it's straight as well I'm not sure but I really like this one okay on to our very last hairstyle So I'm going to be doing this last hairstyle on Sienna and we are going to be doing a braided bun. This hairstyle is different to Nanea's because all of her hair is going to be tied up in this hairstyle and it's only going to be a single bun. This hairstyle might look a little bit tricky and honestly I didn't know how to do it when I first saw it on Pinterest. But then once I worked out how to do it, it's actually really simple as long as you guys know how to braid. This hairstyle probably does work better with longer hair, preferably curly because like it's just a bit easier to just grab when you're doing the braids just easier to grab the hair as well so firstly what you're going to do is just brush her hair and now what I'm going to be doing is I'm just from her part line here I'm going to be grabbing just a small section of hair here like this and I'm just going to put that to the side and now I'm going to grab the rest of her hair and I'm just going to get my hairbrush and just tidy it up and what I'm going to be doing is a high ponytail. And depending on like the height of your bun, like depending on like how high you want the bun, like you can, that's how high you make the ponytail. So I probably want my bun to be about here. And now I'm just going to tie it up. There we go. Now I'm just going to brush the ponytail a little bit because it's just a bit knotty now. And now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting a small French braid on just with this with this section of hair here and I'm just going to do the braids like just fast forward it because I did show you guys how to do the braid before but I'll just briefly show you how to start it off you're just going to grab a small section of hair and this is going to be a bit of like a loose braid this start bit again you can do a dutch braid if you want to for this I'm just going to be doing a french braid because I think it looks a bit nicer with this hairstyle Again, it's going to be dividing it into three. And then I'm going to just grab this strand of hair and put it over. And you guys know the drill. <laughs> and then I'm just going to be grabbing hair from this side. And again, I'm kind of trying to, I'm going to make it like a little bit loose because I don't really want this braid, this bit of the braid to stand out. And then once you've started grabbing all of the hair, on this side I'm actually going to be grabbing hair from her ponytail and I'm going to be joining it with this section and you're not going to be grabbing any more hair from this side you're just going to be grabbing hair from the ponytail and you're going to keep on doing this until you go all around you've used up all of the hair and you've just gone all around into a bun so this may take a little while. And also make sure that when you're grabbing the hair, it's nice and tight as well. Okay, so I finished grabbing sections from the ponytail and I actually forgot to mention when you are doing the braid when I don't pull too tight if you want a bun to be a bit bigger when you're doing the braid because as you guys can see it's really small the bun and then when I tie it off and finish it it's actually gonna be a really small kind of bun so if you want it to be like a bit like bigger on her head then you've got to make sure you don't pull as tight when you grab the sections of hair in Anyway, so now what I'm going to be doing is just braid it, plaiting the rest down of her hair and then I'm just going to secure it with the hair tie.
right, now I'm just going to be getting my little clear elastic. And I'm just going to tie it up. And I'm going to be doing like what I did with my nails here. I'm going to be only pulling halfway on the last loop. Like this. And now what you're going to be doing is kind of like just rolling it up a little bit. And with this like little pocket under, underneath here, I'm going to be rolling it up and just tucking all of this hair underneath like that so you can't really see it. And now I'm just going to be getting a bobby pin and I'm going to secure it. There we go. This looks really nice. I really like this, ha this hairstyle and I'm actually just going to grab one more bobby pin and I'm actually just going to put one bobby pin right here just so like this part of the braid doesn't start lifting up and just so it stays down. There we go. And then lastly I'm going to be getting a little bow just to make it look a little bit prettier. And I'm going to put it right here. There we go. This one looks really cute. I have to say this is probably one of my favourites. I really like this hairstyle and now that you guys have seen it again like it does look a lot more simpler now as well. Again you need to know how to braid but like I think it's just such a really cute hairstyle and I really like this one a lot. So that's it guys, four different bun hairstyles to do on your dolls. I think I have to say that my favourite hairstyle definitely have to be Sienna's braided bun hairstyle or Tenny's double bun hairstyle. Either way, I like them all but those are just my favourites. Don't forget to comment down below if you guys like this hairstyling video because if you guys do, maybe I will make more. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.